Hello everyone and welcome back to the man's kitchen. It's me, your host, James the Food Man. And today we're gonna make up a very simple, sweet dessert. And I'll show you how to do it right after this. And we're back from the intro. Now, if you like today's video, hit the like button. If you like this channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, I promise I'll start posting more often. Now, let's move on to today's dessert. We're going to make a strawberry mousse, and I'll show you all the ingredients coming up next. Okay guys, for our ingredients, probably the most important ingredient of them all is the 35% cream. I have two cups. For each cup of cream, you'll need an egg white. So I have two egg whites here. Also, for each cup of cream, you'll need half a cup of sugar. So I have two cups of sugar here. Now you would need four cups of strawberries. I only have two cups of strawberries, but I got some strawberry sauce here that I made previously. So we're going to use this along with this to make the mousse. And I'll show you how we put it all together right after this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start out with our strawberries and our sugar and we're going to puree them. Let me get a little pot. I probably should have had this out before I started, but sorry. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our strawberries and our sugar and we're going to puree them. And like I've mentioned a few times before, I only have a magic bullet. So I'm probably going to do this in two batches. Yeah, we'll just split it in half. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take this, put this on, and okay, we have the makings of a smoothie here. We'll drop that into the pot. Back with the second half now. Okay, and when I said half, so I, I kind of meant loosely because this looks like more than the first half. So if you have a, a regular food processor, then yeah, you can do this all at once. with the magic bullet now and like I was saying so we're done with the magic bullet now and like I was saying before uh, we're gonna use the strawberries and the strawberry sauce so put this all into our pot we'll add this strawberry sauce that we've made previously for something else and this is a good way to use up some leftovers if you want put this on the stove, we're going to bring it to a boil, and we're going to let it simmer for two minutes. So I don't think I need to show you that, I'm just going to take it over to the stove, and then we'll move on to the meringue part of the recipe. Alright everyone, I put the strawberry mixture on the stove, I cranked it up to power boil setting on my knobs, um, and while I waited for it to come to a boil, I did the dishes, I emptied the dishwasher. So when I'm done this video, I can load up the dishwasher. Make life a little easier on camera white feather. Now, we are going to make our meringue, and the strawberry mixture has to simmer for about two minutes, which gives us the perfect time to do this. We're going to take our two cup 
two egg whites. We're going to pour them into our mixer. You don't have to have a fancy stand mixer like this. You could use a handheld mixer or if you had to, you could use a bowl and a, and a whisk. If you're going to use a bowl and a whisk, my advice to you, put the bowl in the fri freezer for half an hour, put the whisk in the freezer for half an hour, and don't take your eggs out of the fridge till you're exactly ready to do it. When you make a meringue, when you separate those eggs, you can get no yolk in your whites. If there is one drop of yolk, the show is over. A meringue will never come together if there's any fat present. The same thing for your bowl, make sure it's clean and free of grease. Now we're gonna turn this on to about six or eight, and yeah, eight. And we're gonna let this turn into a white fluffy meringue. It's starting to come together now. There's, you're starting to get a lot of air bubbles on the top. Okay, I'll bring the camera in when we are uh, when we get a little closer. Till then, I'll uh, I'll see you then. <clears throat> okay, so we have a medium peak. So if we take our See how it, it holds, but not, but it'll fall. So that's like a medium peak. Okay. So what we're gonna do with that medium peak now is we're gonna put this back in. We're gonna lock it down on uh, lock. We're gonna put this on a low level, like a two or a four. Yeah, we'll try a four. And we're gonna add our strawberry mix. So naturally this is going to increase the volume that we have in this uh, bowl and it's also going to, well now the eggs, they say you could get, there is always the risk of salmonella in eggs uh, when they're eaten raw and this uh, mixture here was brought to a full boil which is 100 degrees Celsius, 212 Fahrenheit and then it was simmered for two minutes so it didn't lose too much of its heat. And now that it's gone in there, it's basically cooked the yolk, okay? We don't want to let that get too runny. We don't want to... Nope, nope, you don't want to crank that because you'll just make a mess. So, that is what we're going to do. We're going to sit this actually in the fridge and let this cool off for a minute. And we'll move on to our next step in one second. Okay, for the next phase, we are going to take our cream, our 35% cream. We're going to put that into a different... If you have a different bowl, use a different bowl. If you don't have a different bowl, you have to get that mix out of your KitchenAid bowl and get a new and put it into something else and clean it out. Now we're going to lock this in. We're going to crank this up. We're going to start out on number four just so we start getting some air incorporated in there. And then once we get this starting to hold up, so now we're gonna increase the speed to an eight, and we're gonna let this whip up till we have a nice, thick whipped cream. And I'll show you what to do after that's done. Turns out I shot this part with the mic off. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a little bit of the whipped cream, about a cup's worth, and I'm adding it into the meringue strawberry mixture. Um, and I'm just stirring it in. Uh, this is an attempt at tempering it. Um, I actually, I'm not even sure why I do this. I remember learning this in school. Um, I talked with a couple chefs at work, and they were like, yeah, I have no clue why we do that either. I just know we do it. So it's something that I'm going to have to go into some research on, and maybe I'll uh, post a tweet about it or something. Uh, so anyways, now you can take, you go by thirds, so you put a third of your, at this point, little runny meringue into the uh, whipped cream and fold it in gently. If you stir it or mix it in, you're going to collapse the whipped cream. What's going to happen is, is you're going to open it up and the air that you've trapped into it that's caused it to turn from liquid to a solid is going to leave and it's going to flatten. 
So go by thirds and fold it in gently. And just keep going in a folding motion like I'm doing. Scrape the sides of the bowl down and just fold, fold, fold. That's all you have to do. <clears throat> Yeah, there I am going in for the last third. Now, I would like to mention that I left the meringue in the fridge for an hour because it was steaming. Um, so that's, I went and, you know what, I went and changed the oil in my car while I let that, uh, while I let that cool off. Um, it's definitely, if you add it hot, you're just going to melt the whipped cream back down to basically cream. And you want to just... Make sure everything's cold and just fold it all together. Would you believe I just did half of this taste review with the mic off? Just like that last part? So as I was saying, uh, this was very tasty. It's good. There's little bits of, uh, there's little chunks in here. It's delicious. It's got a nice balance. It's not overly sweet. It's got um, a nice uh, balance and texture between the meringue and the whipped cream. Um, I would point out, though, that I did let the meringue strawberry mix sit in the fridge for an hour to cool down before I folded it into the whipped cream and then I put this back in the fridge while we had lunch um, to let it firm up a bit more. Uh, you could transfer your meringue out into a bigger pan and uh, let it cool off faster but I caution you because it could collapse a bit more. You could lose some volume and some air that way. So I chose to just stick it in the fridge and let it go like that. You could probably put it in the freezer for 20 minutes. Um, so overall, this is definitely on my list of things to make again. If you like this recipe in this video, hit the like button. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, we'll be back next week here in the man's kitchen.